in my head I was like oh my god he's proposing I want to like really capture this moment I want to really like suck it in mm. I'm tearing up oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> No, it's my first time hearing this story in detail. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay, continue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Small Girl Big Talk. I'm your host, Wendy, and this is the space where I like to talk about all the big stuff in adulthood to help you feel less alone in your own journey. And today, I have a very special guest, RJ, over here with us. Hello, hi. <laughs> Hello, RJ. So, RJ is a close friend of mine. We will talk a little bit more about like who she is and all that later, but... We are basically here to kickstart the Wedding Diaries mini series because we both are getting married soon. She's getting married sooner than I am. And I feel like this whole wedding planning, marriage preparation topic is a very big part about adulthood that I really want to touch on on this podcast. And I feel like one episode will not be enough. Yeah. So I want to have like a mini series in here. Yep. Where I th- and, and I feel like it would be nicer to have a friend over here to talk to me about it, which yeah, is why yeah, I completely understand. Yeah, I yeah. have you over here with us. So, um, besides having RJ as a co host for this mini series, I sometimes might also invite other guests over to talk about this entire experience. And for this episode specifically, we'll be talking about our engagement stories first, because I think that will give them a good understanding of yeah. like our background, yep. who we are, and they get to know you better too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, definitely very happy to share that as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, RJ, why don't you tell the guests, like, who you are to me or, like, how our relationship is? Okay, so, um, I know RJ seems like, what is RJ, right? <laughs> so, actually, my name is Rawaida Jimmy. So, oh. just in case, if you're guys wondering, <laughs> um, I've known Wendy for, I guess, about four years now. Right? Wow, you right. calculated that. Yeah. I did not. I did not <laughs> think about Come that before. Wendy. I mean, the fact, the first time that I got together okay. with Matt is kind of like the same time I got to know you as well. Yeah. I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. that's how we got to know each other, actually. Yeah. Um, so her fiance, Matt, mm-hmm. is my fiance, Kevin's bestie. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Are, they are literally hanging out together right now as yeah. we are recording this podcast. Yeah, they're like somewhere, bouldering somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so right So that's I think that's That's pretty much What we want to share With them about yeah. Our story Or who we are To each other And yeah. I mean Actually besides Us both We have another Close girlfriend Mira as well mm. In the Equation of our Close friend circle I yeah. really think that You guys are like My chosen family um, Here in KL Honestly Really like We spend so much time together Yeah We yeah, go bouldering we together We hang out together And RJ is like Really my fashionista friend <laughs> That I look up to That I get advice <laughs> and, and the good thing is She's also a small girl Okay She's yeah. also a, a petite girly So yeah. we can exchange clothes also yeah. yeah I think there was one time That we exchanged like Cheong Sam Yes Remember <laughs> Funny thing is I borrowed Cheong Sam from RJ Not the other way around <laughs> <laughs> And yeah Um it's not like ethnicity matters, yeah. but RJ is Malay. And yeah. this topic will come in, uh, this, this key point about her will come in kind of like uh, as, a, as one of the main points of our discussion mm. also. Yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah. RJ is getting into an interracial marriage. Yeah. yeah. Exciting. <laughs> yeah, scary. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's, that's a little bit about us. And so then let's get into our engagement stories. Mm, the juicy part. Yes. So, so you've been together with Matt for how long already, actually? Um, it's actually four years. So four so, years now. Yeah. So we got together just like, I would say two months before pandemic struck. Oh, yeah. So our relationship was a bit kind of like interesting because we didn't manage to kind of like go through the honeymoon phase like how people normally do. Yeah. Because as soon as after we got together, like two months afterwards, like everything closed down and you can't see each other. So, you know, like yeah. I didn't go through my first year of honeymoon phase normally. Like of how like going people. on dates. Yeah, yeah. Like literally, yeah. I have to use a phone <laughs> all the time. Like having dates with him on the phone all the time. Wow. Because that's the only thing that we can do to kind of like 
spend time together. So that was interesting as well, uh, yeah, yeah, for me. yeah. And I've been together with Kevin six years now, mm. and I got engaged a year ago. Yes, you got engaged about a year ago too, yeah, right? Yeah. So I would say maybe three months after you, because your yeah, your my engage- anniversary was in March, right? Correct, correct. Yeah. My proposal happened in March twenty. 20- 23 and yes. yours is yours was in June, June 2023. 2023. Yeah. yeah, so but RJ's wedding is happening in two months time. Yeah, in October. <laughs> yeah. And my wedding is happening in a year's time. <laughs> okay, Kevin and I really are taking our time to plan this you know, wedding. It's fine, you do you, babe. Yeah, you do yeah. You. So it that's the that's, this is why we want to talk about this. Yeah. You see, we are all at our own pace. Like they were dating for three years before they get engaged. And mm-hmm. for me, it was five years and for me, even though I got engaged before her, I am going to be proper, like officially married like a year after yeah. hers. So we are really at our own pace. Yeah, yeah. And that's okay, you know? Yes. Like, that's really okay. Because I think in terms of like, um, you know, deciding when you're actually going to get married or even deciding when you're actually going to having the wedding itself, like I feel you shouldn't, have this social pressure that like, oh, you just got engaged, you should get married this year. Or like, you just ain't got engaged, like you should actually start planning straight away, you know? Like, that's kind of like normally the pressure that even not just society, but our families, families. kind of like will put, you know, in, onto us. But I think as long as you yourself and your partner feel good about when is it going to happen mm. and where is it going to happen, I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. You know, like, because at the end of the day, the wedding is actually for the two of you. Yeah. And, and get other people to celebrate, right? Correct. Yeah. And, and honestly, like a wedding is just a celebration mm-hmm. of the beginning of your union. Yeah. What really matters is the marriage. Yeah. I think that's something that I kept, I kept reminding myself as well. Like, I guess as the wedding planning starts, right, it does get more stressful and mm. there's more discussion that goes into it. But I just kept reminding myself, okay, this is just a party. It's just a party. I don't yep. need to worry too much about it. Even though it's a party that involves two parties yep. and their families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. it is, it's, it's just a more stressful party to plan. <laughs> it's, okay. not, it's not your new mo- normal birthday party. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then let's go back into our engagement story. Yeah. Do you want to go first or do I go first? Uh, or do you want to ask me questions? Okay, I think because I get... With your engagement, right? Yeah. I kind of like get the hint from Kevin already in a sense. And only because of like sometimes I overheard like his conversation with Matt. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And I'll be like, hmm, seems like there's going to be engagement coming soon. But okay. you know, I don't know when. Okay. But I kind of like got a hint that he might going to ask you the question. Okay. But I just don't know when, when. Okay, you know? so you, you kind of knew that it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't go and poke him and ask anything like that. But I just know that's going to happen, which I was so excited for you. Aww. I was like, oh my God, when he's going to get married? Yeah, and you did not, she did not, um, <laughs> she did not release any information or anything no, to I me. No, I didn't. I did um, the surprise should be for you, babe. Yeah, but some, someone yeah. else actually broke the part. Oh no, okay, this is not me. <laughs> Okay, someone, okay, let me tell you, let me start first, let me go first, right? So, for Kevin and I, because at that point, we've been dating for almost five years, right? So, our pro- he, his proposal happened on our fifth year dating anniversary. And about a year before that, like four years into the relationship, it's been long enough. And at that point, we were like maybe late 20s, almost 30 already. So, it's just natural to have that conversation about marriage. Yeah. Just to make sure that we are on the same page, right? Like. Yeah. Are we actually going towards the same direction? We are getting married, right? So we've started having those conversations like four years into the relationship. Mm. And um, so we just kind of have a rough idea. It's like, yeah, maybe in the next couple of years, it will happen. And one thing about me is that because at the start of our dating relationship, like at the start of the courtship, right, I was the one who did everything. Ah. I went after Kevin. Oh. And... Um, yeah, like I made all the first move. Mm. Okay, let's just say I made all the first move. Mm. And because of that, at the very start of the relationship, he would always boast to his friends, yeah, she made all the first move. She made it so easy for me. Like he would say things like that. And I was like, bro, because I made all the first move now, when it comes to marriage, you have to propose to me. Mm-hmm. 
I don't want to be like the one taking lead yeah. in every single thing. And I yeah. want to make sure you really want me to. Like, you got to put in the effort, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was very clear since the beginning that you have to propose. Mm. So this was like expectations, you know. I actually communicate that, communicated that at the start already. Mm. So that was at the start of a relationship. And then four years in, I think... Uh, I did mention that, oh, I want Diamond Ring too. And I think I just straight up showed him. Uh, I think one of those days when I had conversations with my girlfriends where, oh, like these are like diamond cuts that we like and all that. You know, girlfriends have those conversations, yeah, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then that's when I realized, like, okay, I like a very simple round cut diamond ring. Mm-hmm. And so then I opened up on the monitor and showed him, like, oh, this is the cut that I want, just in case you want to know it. When you want to buy it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so then I'm I'm the kind of person I would just communicate everything I want. Yeah, speaking of that, right? Yeah. I mean, I kind of like do something similar okay. as you, except um, to be honest, like me and Matt at the time, we have never have communication about like what, like most likely when we're we gonna get married or anything. There, it wasn't. There's not. There's no conversation, but. I think because, you know, I'm a Disney princess at heart. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I'm so in love with this guy. Like, I want to get married. You know, in your head, you yeah. like have this vision and stuff. So what I did is that I literally just go and send like all these links okay. to his WhatsApp. And I just like, don't know when you're going to need it, but just save it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because like, I'm like. You know, I don't know if it's going to even happen, you know, but mm. at least like I just give it there. Yeah. So at least when he actually buy it, it's not going to be something that I don't like. Correct. <laughs> and I think for me that I think it's a very good thing that we've done. And yeah. I'm very happy I did that because mm-hmm. then it will not be a surprise. But there's still a little bit of a surprise, okay? Yeah. Uh, we'll touch on to that later. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I gave Kevin like my preferred ring card and all that and so usually when it comes to getting the ring size did Matt ask you for it or did he secretly take it oh he secretly take it and the funny thing right he go and take it like you know how like we all have our rings yeah like whatever rings design that we have right yeah and the most funny part is that he go and take the one ring that is actually I don't ever use because it's actually big for my size. Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But it's okay. I mean, like, I mean, he wouldn't know because like there's so many rings out. I mean, in my room anyway. But um, that's why, like, when he gave him the ring, it was quite on the big size. Oh, but the good okay. thing is that we can resize yeah, it. Yeah, right? correct. I think so. it, luckily he take the bigger one, not yeah. the smaller one. Yeah. So that's a yeah. good thing for me, right? Kevin straight up just came to me and was like, oh, let me measure your ring size. So I'm like, <laughs> are you for real? Can you not like do it, take it when I'm sleeping or something? I was so annoyed by it, but okay, whatever. Um, so then uh, he took my ring size at around September 2022. Oh, right. So this is before so 2023. This was, yeah, this oh, was right. way before. So, so since that point onwards, I knew his proposing, but I did not know when. Ah. Uh, so I started like always guessing lah. Um, so it was I thought it were, it could have been His birthday in December mm-hmm. Or Christmas mm-hmm. Or New Year's Or my birthday in January mm-hmm. Or our anniversary in March yeah. So there were a few dates That yeah. I feel like Okay, usually mm-hmm. it happens On those days, right? Um, so I had this guess And then his birthday came Nothing happened Christmas came Nothing happened um, But when Christmas came because my family was in town for Christmas, right? Okay. So you were kind of expecting lah because your family is there. Yeah. So is I thought, it? okay, no. possible. That did not happen. But my dad, my dad kind of like just broke the surprise. He, because he, he asked for my dad's blessing then. Ah. And oh my dad no. was so excited. It was Christmas in church. My dad, keep, I think they both just had a little bit of conversations, right? Then my, my dad came over and said, I heard there's good things happening soon. And I was like, and Kevin's face was also like he felt betrayed, like bro. <laughs> so I was like, oh, maybe. Oh, oh my god, I think parents are a bit yeah, because you know what, I have also a story for that because okay. kind of like happened the same thing, but on my side yeah. is that it just so happened that I didn't hear it. Okay, okay. Yeah, but your, your point of view is that you can actually... Yeah, and then, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so yeah, so then I was like, oh, could it be New Year's Eve? Could Did it be my birthday? Did you ask anything? Like after what your father said? No. We just kept quiet. I kept quiet, but okay. I kind of knew... Ish. Okay, yeah. okay. But, and we've been talking about proposal. He asked for my ring size and all that, right? Then 
that happened. Um, but New Year's came, nothing happened. My birthday came, nothing happened. And then March came. So our anniversary date is 25th of May. Is it 25th? 25th March. Oh, 25th of March. I, yeah. I don't know. I think, I think it's 25th. <laughs> yeah, it is 25th of March. <laughs> Wendy. It's okay, I'm going to have a new anniversary date. Yeah, so it be... doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> just, look at, just look at your wedding's anniversary. That's the most, yeah. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so it's... So the planned date was late March, right? And at early March, um, my girlfriends asked me out, be like, oh, 25th of March is let's celebrate one of our other girlfriends' birthday. Mm. And I just replied to them, said, oh, sorry, that's me and Kevin's anniversary date. And I think we should have something planned. So sorry, I can't make it. Yeah. And yeah. then I was very busy at work at that point. So mm-hmm. I did not reply them after that. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly Kevin came to message me. And he was like, hey, I heard from a girl that they asked you out, but you said it's our anniversary. No worry, I have something planned that night already. Um, so just go ahead with them. And then I was like, that's when I knew that's ah, the proposal. Okay. Because every year f- when it comes to our dating anniversary, we would always discuss and plan together what we what want to do. do. Ah. But when he said that he has something planned and just go ahead and the girls are asking me out, I knew. Mm. I straight up went around to all my colleagues, including my best friend is one of my colleagues, right? Yeah, Queen, yeah, right? Yeah. I was telling her, Kevin's proposing on my <laughs> anniversary. I was so excited. I was so excited. And she's like, I like how you're excited <laughs> even before the proposal itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the funny thing is then me being me, I get excited about things and I mm. get random ideas here and there, right? Mm. Then one day as I was pooping in the toilet, right? TMI, I know. <laughs> but I had this idea. It's like, what if I counter-propose Kevin? <gasps> Since I knew that he was proposing already, yeah. why not do something fun? Yeah. Um, but I couldn't afford a diamond ring for him and I think a diamond ring would feel a little bit weird on a guy's head anyway. Yeah. So then I needed to be creative. Yeah. And then I thought about like having a custom ring made for Kevin. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> then it went on to like a fun creative project to get this ring done. Mm-hmm. I found a seller on Etsy yeah. that can do carvings on like emblems. Yep. Um, and, and I got a, a ring made. But does he know about this? Like, Oh, no, no he did he has, not. He hasn't got a clue. No, he has zero clue. Wow. Um, and, but like, as I was preparing for this ring and all that, I did have my doubts. Like, what if he did not propose, right? Yeah. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'll just prepare it and just have it with me. Yeah. If he doesn't pre- propose, I'll just have it ready for the when he actually proposes, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, just bring along with you everywhere. Correct. Um, <laughs> And then when the day comes, uh, I mean, about one week before the proposal, it, it was made very clear because my girlfriends asked me for a manicure on that day. Ah, okay. Like, it really just gave it all away. Really. Like, suddenly you can have nice fingers. Yeah, it's so <laughs> obvious. So I knew. So even when we went, on, went for a manicure on that day, like, I chose, like, a white uh, cat eye design, mm-hmm. like, for it to be... What, what's that called? The Haley Bailey, uh, Haley Bailey, blah. Haley Bieber's uh, donut glaze design. Oh, okay, okay. Like, did you I, know? I, 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 um, yep. I, I'm not into all those things, yeah. so that's so what, I, But I'll just pretend that I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Basically, it's like a very simple white, but like metallic whiteish kind of design. Ah, right. You know, it will okay. go well with a diamond ring. Okay. Ah, right. Yeah. So when okay. I chose that design, all my girlfriends are like, oh yeah, that's perfect. Like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. inside. All of us knew that I knew. Like the girls are like, yeah. it's so freaking obvious, lah, right? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But we just had to act like nothing is happening. Yeah. Um, and then I'm not too sure if I actually told the manicure artist that I I knew I was getting proposed, but I don't think I did. Um, but anyway, so I remember throughout the day I was kind of nervous already. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, how am I gonna react? And I brought my the ring that I brought to counter propose with me too because yeah. I knew he was proposing. Yeah. But I did not know how it's going to happen. Mm. I did not know if my family is going to be there. Is it going to be at a restaurant? Yeah. What is it, right? Yeah. So, um, but the entire day I was so nervous already. I just did not know how to react. And like, what if he did not propose? And like, am I going to say yes? I do say yes, right? Yeah. Like, So when you say that like, you don't know how to react, like, was it because of like, if let's say it didn't happen, then you kind of like have to like okay. deal with the disappointment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have to prepare your mind 
just in case if it doesn't happen, you cannot be like super gutted about it because yeah. no one telling you that you're going to get married anyway, right? Yeah. It's like, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there was a lot of like, okay, how do I prepare for all these different scenarios? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then by the time after the manicure, my girlfriend said, okay, I'm going to drop you off back home. Uh, Kevin said, just come home. Yeah. So that's when I was like, oh, maybe the proposal is happening at home. I've not, I've not suspected that it's going to be at home at all before oh, that. Oh, right. Yeah. Until at that point, because um, I realized that manicure is going to end late. And mm-hmm. I asked Kevin, like, do I come to you anywhere? He's like, yeah. oh, it's okay. Just come home first. And that's when I was like, okay, it's already eight. And he said to come home. I think it's going to happen at home. Mm-hmm. So like that lift right just coming up to my condo. Yeah. And it was very nerve-wracking. I was like, like wanting to vomit. Were already. you walking alone by that time? Yeah, my friend just home? dropped me off and I just oh, came right. up by myself. So, so when you come home, you're literally I was al- alone. All oh, right. And I knew that this is it yeah. when I was right at the entrance. Yep. Because I could feel the air conditioning coming out from a door. Oh, okay. And on, okay sorry, <laughs> just all these little details, right? On a normal day when Kevin is home alone, he will not turn on the air con. <laughs> That's so, when you know. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was at that door, I already knew. So when I opened the door, yep. it was all dark and Kevin set up a lot of fairy lights around the house. By the way, we are at the location, okay, guys? Like... Yeah, we are. Yeah. This is this is the where space. Wendy got engaged. Yes, it is. You guys <laughs> so if are. you see me looking around, it's because I'm trying to envision it. Okay, yeah. all right. So yeah, you say there's a like twinkle fl- twinkle lights, right? Yeah, and fairy then, lights, yeah. and and I. So I was very calm because I already knew it's happening, and Kevin's reaction is like, "Why are you so calm?" Because <laughs> apparently everyone thought I'm gonna be like. <gasps> Oh my god! But <laughs> no, guys, I knew it was happening. Um, and yeah, like Kevin decorated the house with like photos of us since our first date, location, Aww. and everything, leading us to the bedroom. No. Uh, to which he really put in the effort to decorate with balloons, mm-hmm. with like, you know, the will you marry me? Very cliche. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, even it's cliche sometimes. I appreciate the effort. Right? Yeah, I yeah. appreciate the effort. Yeah. So. It was a very beautiful proposal. I will, um, I, I'm thinking I want to give you the details or not, like too much already. But anyways, um, I have the full proposal video on my YouTube if you are yeah. very curious about the whole visuals. Yeah. Um, but that's when it really happened and Kevin gave a very beautiful... Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, a little bit of a details. When I came in, two of his bros mm-hmm. were in the living room with us mm-hmm. using their phone for videos. And then I was like, oh, so he's going to propose in front of them. Mm-hmm. And I felt a little bit like... Eh. A bit awkward. Yeah, but it? leading yeah. into the room, before he opened the door, I was like, it's like everybody's going to be inside. Uh, I was a bit worried. I just like... It's just, you know, to be proposed in front of a lot of people, it's, it felt stressful for me. It can be daunting. Yeah, so like the way leading up to that, I still had a lot of questions in my head. Yeah, yeah. Um, and thank goodness... The proposal happened in the bedroom where there's no one else. It was just the mm. two of us. And because Kevin knows that I want to document everything, so yeah. he set up a camera, he set up microphone, everything to yeah. record everything. And so was it set up before you came into the house? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Oh, there's right. an so entire when, when day in, of setup. Everything uh, is all set up. So when you already. came into the, your room, yeah. everything is already there, ready to be recorded. So yeah. it's not like Kevin go and set up, yeah, right? Yeah, it's already recording oh, when you're entering. Right. Yeah, everything's very well prepared. La. I, I have to give it to him. Oh, that's for, nice. for Good job, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. For someone who doesn't <laughs> usually prepare for much stuff, right? he really did the You work. appreciate that, right? I really appreciate Especially, it. I, think, yeah. I think when our partners, like normally not the type yeah. that like do all this stuff, we tend to be more appreciative to the fact when they go all out yeah. to plan these things, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So nice of that. Yeah. Wow. And he gave a very beautiful speech. La. Mm. Um, so really brought me to tears. Like I said, throughout the day, I still had a lot of doubts and like, concern on how to react. Mm-hmm. But when he gave the speech, and I think he touched on every point that he knew were my biggest concerns, mm-hmm. he addressed every single one of them. And then, um, then it happened. And I said, it was a huge yes. Like I cried and I shouted yes. Because no. he, he asked it in a very perfect way la, for me, la, mm-mm, right? Mm-mm. Um, and, and then after like, I, he gave me the ring and all that, I was like, hold on, don't end the recording because then I took my ring uh-huh, out, of, uh-huh. out of my bag. Okay. And I, I knelt down. I had like a rough speech in my head, right? But this is when I knew, guys. 
ladies, guys that you are listening, it's so nerve-wracking to be kneeling and asking that question to your partner. Mm. Even when he, he's already asked me that question and I said yes, mm -hmm. to ask him, I was still shivering and I was still like jumbling up my words. Mm -hmm. um, and he was very surprised. Mm -hmm. um, and and he, we were both very happy, la, basically. Aww. Yeah. So we, we came out here. I thought it was just us. Yep. And it turns out a bunch of his friends who helped to set up for the proposal were all yeah. hiding in his room. Ah. <laughs> so when they came out, I was like, what, you're here? Huh? <laughs> and so they, they heard me like shouting yes and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, so, so now what? And yeah. then they're like, oh, we'll leave you to it. So they were just, they just wanted to stay to congratulate us and then they, they left. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's kind of like our engagement story. We had a nice meal prepared at home over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I remember um, the food was like from the restaurant that you guys went on your first date, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, see? Good job, Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> very, very thoughtful. Very thoughtful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. that's that's my story. Um, I hope it gives you guys a good idea on... What happened on mine? Yeah. How was it like for you? Like, were you expecting it to be like where there's a lot of people together to like celebrate with you? I were, Or I, were you kind of like, you know, hoping that it was just the two of you or? I think I wanted it to be private. Yeah. But I wanted it to be recorded. I understand. <laughs> so that's, that's understand. my thing. Like, I think I've just always enjoyed documenting everything, right? Yeah. So yep, that's yep. just my expectations and I think I, I'm pretty sure I've communicated it to him before yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or at least I've told it to my girlfriends yeah. who helped me to like investigate for him right yeah, yeah, um, yeah. to do the when, when he was doing his research mm. so it was all very well planned according to my preference understand yeah what about you like what's your preference when it comes okay. to an engagement so me and Matt we are completely two different person like <laughs> I mean, both of you are Capricorn, so I guess... I mean, he's also like things that is very, very private. Mm. Um, and then even myself, like, I love surprises. I love where there are, like, people around to celebrate me and stuff like that. I don't know if it's because of my Gemini nature. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> I just love... You know, surprises. I just love being like around with a lot of people when celebrating. So I think for my proposal, I think it kind of like just a nice mixture between the two. Okay. Because it kind of like happened in a kind of like pri like public area, but also private enough that there is not other people. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was like quite like quite just a nice you know in between. Mm -hmm. So um, how is it happening? Yeah. So, but <laughs> take, take us, take us to, okay. take us to your proposal. Like okay. before that, did you suspect anything? And no, no. You okay, didn't. so all right. So during my second year into the relationship, I kind of like always joke around, you know, with him, saying that if you don't propose to me by the age thirty one, bye bye. Okay. I it's it's a joke. It's a joke because at the time I was already thirty, mm. and then I'm just like you know like I don't want to keep going into a relationship if we are not going to get into that, you mm. know. Um, but honestly, it was just as a joke. Mm. I was just, you know, keep saying that all the time, all the time. And then I keep sending all these links and everything. <laughs> but I know that it's not going to happen anytime soon because we have never had the, the conversation. Mm. Even leading towards to our engagement, mm. there wasn't like a serious, serious conversation about that when we're going to get married and mm. stuff. So I didn't expect it at all. Yeah. So um, what happened was it was actually my kind of like my birthday weekend, my it birthday is, week. Yeah. So we went to um, Thailand um, and basically my birthday is actually on the 6th of June. Yeah. So kind of like make it shorter in a sense that um, a day before my birthday, he was insisted that we should go on like this island hopping stuff. Okay. And I'm like, it's okay, we can do the next day. And he was like, no, 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 we have to do it on the 5th because then on the 6th we can do blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, why are you so persistent on like doing this? I'm like, okay, la, okay, la, fine. But even then, I was not suspected anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, oh, maybe he's just being, I don't know, he has to schedule, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I was just being like that. And then um, 
we were on an island hopping. Uh, I wasn't even wearing anything nice mm. <laughs> because you're like, because you're like you're going on a high island hopping. Yeah. But thank God I wasn't wearing a bikini. Okay, <laughs> that's true. That is very true. Yeah, like <laughs> imagine like I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, like I <laughs> you're just gonna hate your engagement <laughs> video. I guess I would. <laughs> Like not si- no, I think every woman is self conscious of how their body looks, no matter how fit you are or whatsoever. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you're gonna love it no, if, it's, if no. it's a Luck- if you're in luckily bikini. Luckily, I decided to wear some shorts with like I mean I wear I think it was a tank top, was it? No, um, it was not a tank top. It was actually like a swimsuit, but yeah. I wear it together with a uh, short. Okay, so okay, it does okay. look like yeah, but. <laughs> The only thing that I was grateful for that I didn't wear a bikini that time because yeah. I don't know how I'm going to send that picture to my family. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so going back to that is that um, so there was about five islands that we have to go mm. um, and the most beautiful island that they were saying was this Kai Island mm-hmm. uh, in Phuket. So, and it just so happened to be our last stop. Mm. So, when we, you know, stepped foot on that Kai Island, um, I kind of like realized Matt was like quite, very quiet. Aww. Very he quiet. Was so nervous, okay. Yeah, and I'm like, what's wrong? Like, what's up? And, oh, no, no, no. I'm just thinking of like something, something. I couldn't remember. Um, and then he was like, hey, let's go to this. Like, there was this one hut, like a beach hut mm. that is also like a cafe and stuff. So we went there. And then, out of nowhere, he was like, um, why don't you start recording? I was like, recording what? Like, recording us being here, eating. And I'm like, huh? Okay, just to give you a bit of, like, <laughs> a context, heads up, yeah. like, in context. Like, Matt normally no. don't do that kind of stuff. Like, he's not the one he's that, like... He's just a very private yes, person. Yes, yes. He's yeah. not the one that's going to be, like... Hey, record this or Let's record do that. Yeah, oh, no, no, that's not it's, Matt. It's always me la. Like, yeah. It's not him. Yeah. So when he said that, did you suspect anything? I, I. That's the that's the first time ever throughout this whole birthday trip. Yeah. That I kind of like fig, trying to figure out what is happening. Yeah, okay. But I didn't know that it was gonna be an engagement. Okay. Yeah. It's just like mm, is is it was more of a worry that is he trying to break up with me. <gasps> Like no, seriously, girl, but who would have asked for a camera? I don't. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no. It's like it's like you know. Okay, again, I don't know. Wait, I don't okay. know. Maybe like he's just trying to do it, saying that like, okay, RJ, because I know you like to record all this stuff. So yeah. like, but in my head, I was like, is he trying to say that? Hey. um... I know that like we've been together for this da da da, but I don't think I'm ready to get married yet. I I thought it was gonna be a conversation, mm. but he's just trying to make me feel like um, not super nervous. Maybe that's why he's just like go and record if mm. you want and everything. I thought he's just trying to make me feel like because he let me do that so mm. that I will be not super like you know <laughs> okay. yeah caught up about it or something. I don't. That was in my head at the okay, time. Okay. Yeah. Um. But then it didn't happen. Okay, it did not happen. It did not happen. Okay. And then after that, we we walked together to another part. So basically, like, like imagine like the beach is like this, right? And then we go on this side. Okay. Okay. And uh, on this side, behind it, there's like this beautiful stones. Yeah. And everything like that. And then he was like, hey, let's record ourselves here. Mm. And I'm like, huh? Again? <laughs> <laughs> Where like, I think okay. he wanted to do it at the hut, but it didn't happen. I think so too. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. Maybe because maybe the there hut. were people or yeah, yeah. So um, I literally got like a stool to put my phone. Okay, right. And I think if you watch my engagement video, you can see it was like rocking yeah, here and kinda, there kinda. Because, kinda. <laughs> because yeah. of the waves, right? Yeah. Um, and then for me, it was I know that. Even though that there wasn't a lot of people that what I was expected, for example, like having my friends there or my family there, for example, but I know it was perfect for both of us mm. because there are like other people on the other side. There okay. are people. Mm. It's just that not on our area. Mm. So it's still private enough for him to, you know, kneel and ask the question. Um, 
But I think what I remember that he was holding my hand when, okay, so we are taking a picture as if like we we're taking a picture. Mm. And then straight away after that, he holds my hand with both hands. And then I'm like, what's wrong? I was mm. like, what's up? And then he was like, from like this. And then he turned his hands like this. Okay. And then that's when I saw the ring on his finger. Okay, yeah. He it wore was, it on yeah, his finger. Yeah, okay. he wore it on his finger. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm like, huh? What? Are you proposing? Yeah. What? At that time, he, he didn't kneel yet. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, are you? Are you? I was like, yeah, yeah. are you? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, and then that time I can feel he was shaky. Mm. And I'm like, oh my God, it's happening. Mm. Oh my God, it's happening. And then he kneeled down. And a good, for a good, like I would say maybe 30 seconds, both of us didn't say anything. Mm. I think we we're just kind of like be in the moment. Yeah. Like in my head, I was like, oh my God, he's proposing. I want to like really capture this moment. I want to really like suck it in. Mm. I'm tearing up. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my first time hearing this story in detail. Oh okay, no. sorry. <laughs> okay, continue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> I love love, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of like want to soak it in because I didn't expect it to happen now. Mm. You know, I mean, um, at the end of the day, because I, I know I'm not perfect as well. So mm. I know that like, I don't know if I'm already at that level where people can, I mean, or even Matt can accept me to be like, you know, his wife, you know. Mm. So... I I literally tear up even before he can ask like would you like to be my wife mm. and even though there's no like big speech or anything like that mm. which to be honest I feel like it's special as the way it is mm. because it doesn't look like super prepared um, for me lah for me so it feels like wow like this person knows that like they want to do it very special but also in his own way mm. to make it like special you know like so I, I I know that's Matt so after you know after I say yes and then he told me that oh actually your mom your cousins everyone knew about this and mm. I'm like I knew too <laughs> yeah, I called you. Okay, you know, guys, I literally call everyone and only one person out of 10 people that I call are like surprised. Okay. <laughs> Even you, you're like, oh, Yay, hey, congrats. congrats. You knew. <laughs> like, you guys knew? I said, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, means, <laughs> that means Matt really prepared for it. Yeah, that, so that's why it's like, it's, that's why for me, it kind of like, it looks like not. Mm. But actually it is Oh trust me Like yeah. even months before that He had to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Kevin Oh really? Like they went out one night to really just talk And I think when it comes to you both as a couple Like why I was tearing up too Because I think it's a very I feel like for every couple It's a lifetime commitment It's a big decision mm. But I think when it comes to interracial couple um, yeah. Especially in Malaysia When it comes to like The whole religion yeah. thing Being involved too yeah. It is a very big decision yeah. And I know that it's a decision That came Like with a lot of thoughts mm -hmm. Into it yeah. yeah Yeah I know And I know Again like It's, it's not an easy decision For mm. him as well Because yeah. I know Like what kind of sacrifice That he has to do also So I That's why I don't even question of like, oh, how I wish like it was done differently or anything. Because mm. I think the fact that he kind of like have that strength mm. to say that, yeah, I'm going to marry you despite like all this. I think that's when I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just totally happy with that. The yeah. fact that he wants to marry me. Yeah. Which I don't even care about how the engagement is already, mm. to be honest. Because yeah. I think... When there are a lot of things at stake When it comes to your relationship Like, you know Because um, obviously Matt is Chinese and I'm Malay So like You can't be too greedy <laughs> In a sense that, you know, you want That's why I'm I'm happy 
because I don't I don't feel that I need to like have I mean come on lah it's like normal girls you would be like looking at other people proposals and you'd be like oh I want that too okay I've never really had that I want that too mm. um, but we do have our preferences Yes, of course And of course. really, I feel like social media does somehow create some sort of expectations mm-hmm. When it comes to engagement Yeah um, Like back then, not every couple has videos taken on yeah. their proposal, for yeah. example But yeah, I true. set that as my true. requirement, right? True. And then, I, we talked about ring size just now And I said I want to talk about this So, this was something that was quite interesting for me So, I told Kevin before that when... Um, when we were talking about ring shapes and all that, I always said that ring size doesn't matter to me. Mm. Okay, so I said that explicitly to him. Yeah. So, <laughs> I thought this is quite funny because... So, I thought that um, ring size does not matter and I told him that. Yeah. But when he proposed, right? Yeah. When he showed the ring to me, yeah. I actually went... Oh, in my mind, yeah. oh, it's quite small. Oh. And I actually did we had like, mm, okay lah. I actually said that during the proposal. And I know that he's quite taken aback that, by that. I understand. Yes. And I have to say that it's because that all this while, I always see influencers' proposals on social yeah. media because those yeah. are the most that we see online, right? Yeah. And usually, they are people of certain wealth status. Yeah. So, their rings are generally bigger. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I thought that is like the normal size. Mm. So, when I saw the one that he got for me, it's smaller than the ones that I am exposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that's why that was my initial reaction. Yep. It's like, oh, it looks small. But yeah. after wearing it myself, yeah. it's the perfect size for me. Yeah. And honestly, I've not worn this ring for very long already. Mm. I almost forgot till I saw her ring and I was like, oh, I have to wear it for this epi- <laughs> this episode because it's we're talking about <laughs> engagement, right? We have to. Um, but yeah, I do think that with social media coming on and everyone sharing about their own engagement stories, yeah. there's different expectations. Definitely. I, I completely agree you, with you on that because I think people want to have grand and all that mm. is so that they can also post on their account, right? Yeah, you want to look good. Yeah, and we, again, I think with whole social media, like we need to show that we are like having all this kind of like best things in life and yeah. blah, 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 that we kind of lost touch of like what exactly important, which is the genuine, yeah. you know, side of it where it's not super prepared. Mm. But like, you know, but I completely understand where you're coming from because actually when I first got my, <laughs> yeah. it kind of looked... Yeah, I think I was a similar size. Similar size, similar size. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um... At first, when I first kind of like, you know, giving all these links to Matt, right? Um, I actually go and talk to like some of the jewelers. Mm. And then after that, they told me that, hey, don't care so much about like how big your engagement ring is. And I was like, oh yeah, why? Oh, because you can, you can actually size it up after that. Yeah. During your first year wedding anniversary, during your five year, you can get, you can use the same band to size up your oh, diamond ring. I did not know you yeah. can do that. Okay. You can size it up. Like, let's say for example, now it's maybe 0.5 carat. Like yeah. when you're doing your wedding anniversary, you can size it up to two carats if you have that much of money already. Yeah. And then during your 10 year anniversary, you give lah, 10 carats ke? Mm, 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 <laughs> you know, mm. so actually it can be done. Like it doesn't have to be like straight away during. Yeah. Or it can be just another diamond. Yeah. You know, you can always do that too. Yeah. Um, I am a firm believer that the partner should not be, you know, selling his kidney to buy a diamond ring that fits your need. I do feel that you should spend according to your means. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with what I got. But I think I've also heard of those, uh, like, the argument that like the the price of the diamond ring should be like a two month salary for that person. Have you heard Ooh, of it before? Really? Yeah, yeah. So so that's that rate that gauge. I've heard of this theory before, and it's yeah. So that's that's like in case you are thinking if you're a guy and you're thinking of proposing, or who knows you're a girl you want to yeah. propose to your partner. Yeah. Um. But that's I've heard of that theory before. Wow. I, I'm not too sure how did they come down to that number, um. But I've heard of that and. Think about it, it's like for some people, it's like if there are, there are some girls who really want to know that their partner can provide and they want to know mm. that if he cannot if, even afford to, do, to buy this for me, then can I trust him to provide for me for the rest of my life? 
Hmm. So yeah. that is why. That's that that's you... like I've heard of such right. um, arguments before. Hmm. Yeah. I think like I think diamond ring itself. I mean, the engagement ring itself mm. shouldn't be just the what do you call it? Like a justification whether that your partner can take care of you or not. Yeah. Because I think you have to look at like. If let's say for example throughout the whole relationship for example like that person able to like give you some things that you don't even need it but they don't mind giving it to you for example in terms of like maybe you know sometimes we take don't take look, look at it seriously like say for example that person belanja us makan or something like that mm. right like maybe we feel that like it's a very small thing but if the partner is keep doing it all the time, for example, yeah. or even maybe like even your, let's say, any kind of payments that they can, don't even have to pay for you, but they do it for you. Yeah. Like, you know, but no, I wouldn't, I would say that not everyone might be very lucky to also have that because mm. we live in, uh, unfortunately, we live in an economy where Everything is so expensive And you know? actually one of the conversations That came up for me And quite a few of my friends Is like yeah. We live at a time where It's quite common for The female to be yeah. To be the higher in, income earner yeah. In the relationships mm-hmm. as well So mm-hmm. Expectations are quite different These days When it comes yeah. to relationship yeah. And I think what matters Is what you value yeah. And what you care about um, yeah. The world is going to tell you A lot of different Versions of what you should do And what you should not do yeah. And even the people around you Are going to say the same thing Like you are going to have Girlfriends who really think that Huh? So small your ring Or yeah. like You know I, I'm so grateful My friends are not like that like, You know same, you, same, you, choose, same. you choose people That yeah. align with you In terms of values Right? But There will be Comparison happening No matter what Oh my god Speaking of that right yeah. I There was Someone I'm not gonna tell who Okay okay <laughs> Someone Like as soon as they know That I got engaged The first question That they ask Is like How many carrots Wow And I'm like Why don't you ask me Question like How did it go You know yeah. Like what What did he ask Or like You know Why the first question Should be How many carrots Mm. You know That's when I'm like Okay There are people out there That really care Just the material side of things Yeah You know Where Even when If And the most Um The most like Bizarre about this thing Is that it's it's Someone that is close to me too Hmm. You know Like So I was like Okay This is not a competition Yeah Because I know from this Person point of view I think She just want to know How much my carrots are So that he can She can do comparison To his To her You know Ring Okay Yeah Yeah Which is a bit like I'm like Wow The first question you ask me Is how many carrots Right mm-hmm. Like I mean Normal people would be like Oh my god How did it go Yeah I think right? That would be a secondary question I think yeah. it's okay to ask But not as the as first, the first one. question Yeah, yeah. not as the first one I'm talking about as the first one Yeah It's like the first question Damn girl Damn. <laughs> <laughs> And then you know what I reply Yeah how did you reply I, I said It doesn't matter to me Yeah As long as he loves me And he can love me To the end of time Until I die That's what matters Yeah Yeah Wow <laughs> beautiful RJ So beautiful I, To be honest I'm really surprised That I actually teared up In this episode I did not expect that at all Coming into this recording I think We were kind of concerned About like What to discuss about And yeah. all the technical setup But look It's almost been like Over 45 oh minutes worth of recording yeah, yeah. And I kind of want to Wrap it up over here um, I think this I hope this gives you guys A very good Understanding of our engagement story And a little bit about us And our point of view When it comes to how things should be And moving on to like The next couple episodes We are going to touch on like Deeper stuff like um, We know what are the things That helps us to decide If our partner is the one Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) And 
as you can see, um, we brought up this topic for quite a bit. I do feel like I want to do an episode about interracial marriage and yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, I like, mean, I mean, I have so much fun like talking with you today. Yeah, I think I hope that you know you guys also get a little bit of like who we are. I mean, how we get to know each other and and the things that we don't even know about ourselves when doing our engagement. Yeah, right? yeah. So I, I'm. It's, this is so much fun. Um, I'll be more than happy to come and talk with you again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have any questions that you want us to talk about, right? I always have this form in my show notes where you can actually submit questions or requests for certain topics. So that would be the perfect place if you have specific questions you want to know about. And um, thank you so much for coming over, RJ. No, thank you so much for having me. Yay! We will see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye! Bye.